Hi everyone, David here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back for another video. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm doing okay, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's been super hot and humid as usual, but I've got the air conditioning on, so that's that's nice, nice and comfortable here. Uh, but I have been out of the house, finally. <laughs> I did take a little trip. That's today's uh, video topic. Um, but before I get into that, then I've got a few other bits of business. Uh, last video I did, like face-to-face -face one, um, I talked about the Saikuro Kippu, the dice ticket, uh, where I got a random, random ticket to some place in Western Japan. Um, I can exclusively reveal, exclusively reveal, I can't say that. Uh, my selection was Onomichi, which you might recall was one of the ones I was hoping I wouldn't get because I've been there. Um, you see my video a few uh, months ago. I went to Onomichi in March. Um, but that's okay. Uh, one of my friends lives in uh, Hiroshima, so hopefully I can go visit him because it's uh, Onomichi's in Hiroshima Prefecture. Uh, so never mind. Yeah, I can still enjoy myself, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for some video about that next month. Um, also, I'm doing the big push for the end of August. I want to try and get 400 subscribers. I was making really good progress and suddenly it's stalled. So uh, we're on 385 at the moment. So I really need your help uh, now more than any time. Uh, please uh, share this channel. Uh, if there are any good videos you really enjoyed, then please share them to friends who you think might be interested. Uh, of course, like, comment, uh, subscribe, all of those things too. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed, then please do that now. That'll really help me. Um, okay, well, today's video, uh, that is about a little trip I took. Uh, last Thursday, I forgot the date now, but it was uh, Mountain Day in Japan. Um, the, the public holidays here are named kind of a little bit unusual for British people. Um, we've got things like Mountain Day, we've got uh, Sea Day or Marine Day, we've got Green Day, uh, not the rock bands, the um, celebrating nature, uh, things like that. Um, I think that was a kind of post-war thing. They don't have any kind of big religious holidays or things like that. So celebrating um, various things. So Mountain Day was last week, um, kind of by coincidence. It wasn't like a big plan, but we, uh, well, me and my friend, we did go up a mountain, uh, one of the famous mountains of Kansai, which is uh, Rokko-san, Rokko -san? I don't know how you pronounce that properly, um, but it's uh, right next to Kobe. Uh, so that's yeah one of the big famous places you can go there. Um, Arima Onsen is one of the famous uh, onsen hot spring places. That's uh, that's I think that's on uh, Mount Rocco. It's kind of a, like a mountain range along there, so I'm not sure where Rocco starts and something else begins. But we did take a little trip up to the top of uh, Mount Rocco for um, a farm visit. There's a kind of a not petting zoo is that what you call it or uh, yeah like a f interactive farm you can go and touch all the animals and uh, you know enjoy enjoy countryside um, so I'm going to show you that in a moment um, got anything else to say no maybe not <laughs> I'm going to talk about it during the video so uh, I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to let you watch the video okay let's get ready oh it didn't work hang on okay okay the first part of my trip from my home came to Rokomichi station uh, which is quite close to Kobe. Uh, it took about an hour from Osaka and uh, they're quite regular trains too, so not too difficult. Uh, I took a very long bus ride from that point to get to the Maya cable station uh, where I could take this cable car up the mountain. Uh, I'm not going to show you the whole thing in, <laughs> in regular speed, I'll do the super speed version. Uh, this is called a funicular, I've just found out today. So the, uh, there's another carriage from the top which uh, meets us in the middle on the way down. There's quite a lot of these in Japan because it's a very mountainous country. There we go, just park in there. But that's not the end. We had to take another cable car up. Um, this is the Nijino Eki Rainbow Station. Um, not quite as <laughs> rainbowy as I imagined. And um, we take this very high cable car, aerial cable car, um, over the mountains and uh, the forests. So you've got quite a nice view there of uh, Osaka Bay. You think of Kobe and Osaka as separate cities, but um, they're actually quite, oh, there's another one. Um, they're actually quite kind of mushed together. <laughs> there's not really much of an edge. And yeah, another bus, which took about 10 minutes from the top of that, that cable car station. And finally, we reached our destination, which was, da -da -da -da. here we are. This is the Rokko Farm, or Rokko Bokujo. Um, 
looking a bit, <laughs> could do with a bit of a clean, I think. But uh, inside you can see lots of animals kind of free roaming, uh, mostly sheep. They're all over the place. Uh, you can go and harass them for photos. Now, this one didn't want to give any comment. And you can also pay uh, the little vending machine thing and get some goat food, feed the goats, uh, open palms. That's a good idea. <laughs> but they're quite gentle. They're just licky licky. Not going to bite you. They don't want to get touched though. Some of them are a bit more, um, a bit more forceful than the others ones. Uh, so take care, uh, especially with little kids. But the yeah decorations in the farm are quite cute. I don't know what kind of place this is supposed to be copying. It's like an Alpen, uh, Alpine farm. I'm not sure, but lots of cute little farmhouse buildings and silos, and some rather unfriendly horses too. <laughs> that big one at the back was really shoving the other ones around. So yeah. Be careful with the horses. It was quite a hot day, of course, quite cool in the shade, so the sheep were um, being uh, sensible, staying out of the sun and just wandering around everywhere. So yeah, nice green open space if you're getting sick of being stuck in the city all day, uh, like I was, <laughs> so nice and fresh as well. Yeah, the buildings are really cute. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not really sure what they're based on, but um, I'm sure they were authentically made from some, <laughs> some, uh, some model. Uh, you could also wait around and see the sheepdog show. Uh, so that's uh, Sophie, the sheepdog, who's uh, chasing the sheep around. That's quite interesting. You've got a nice little jaunty uh, sort of country country tune playing in the background. It was very catchy. And the other things there, like cows too. The cows are huge as well. Look at that. I tried to get a selfie, but uh, yeah, luckily didn't lick my camera or anything like that. But yeah, very nice place to visit. Um, so yeah, I recommend Rocco Bokujo. And at the top, uh, if you go back to the cable station, there's a very nice panoramic viewpoint. Uh, we couldn't stay along, uh, stay there long enough to see the night view. That's a kind of famous thing in in uh, Rocco. Um, I've heard that Rocco has the one of the three best night views in Japan, along with Nagasaki and uh, Hakodate in Hokkaido. Uh, so please stick around for that. I, I did go there a few years ago to see the, the view and it was really gorgeous when it's uh, sunset. The actual sunset is not particularly interesting, but uh, yeah, the night view is lovely. So you can see over there, that's um, mostly Kobe in the in the foreground. And if you see how the bay curves around, and that's uh, Osaka Bay. In fact, it was quite a clear day, so you can see the mountains at the back. Um, you could even see Kansai Airport, which is almost on the border of Wakayama. Um, it's quite fun to see some of the Osaka landmarks uh, you can even see from there. But it does give you a sense of how huge and sprawling some of these uh, Japanese cities are. Um, it's not quite as big as Tokyo, but uh, it's getting there. Um, I'm not going to play this whole thing. I just thought I'd leave on something <laughs> something restful to play me out. Um, yeah, so definitely visit uh, Rocco Mountain. Uh, all things considered, I think from the cable car cost about 1600 yen round trip uh, the farm cost about 500 yen to enter um, what else yeah so lots of little travel connections everywhere if you've got a car then that's really easy you can drive up there too um, so I definitely recommend that uh, but that's enough for my my little vi um, tour video so I hope you enjoyed that uh, definitely give it a visit if you come to Japan see the night view stay in Anima Onsen if you can that would be a nice place to relax too uh, but like I said, please like and subscribe um, to this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm really trying to get as many as I can before the end of August. Please help me out. And if you enjoyed this kind of video, please let me know somewhere else you'd like me to try. I've got my new camera now. This is the first one filmed on that. So uh, yeah, let me know. Okay, thank you for watching and take care. See you.